I wanted to kind of give an introduction of five reasons why I'm starting to shred plastic. Number one is it's affordable. So I can get plastic basically going around all the recycling bins in my neighborhood and I won't have enough space to keep all that plastic and so having it shredded compresses it all. It allows me to keep a little bit more of it and also helps me melt it a lot easier as well. Number two is it's a new opportunity for creativity, meaning plastic has very interesting properties. It can be, it doesn't need to be finished. It doesn't need to be cured. Um, once it's melted and hard, it works. Like you, you don't, I don't know if you can see, but there's not much you have to do with this. Number three is most hobbyists already have the tools. So behind me, I got a bandsaw. This is probably one of the main tools that I would be using. And then over here, is an old lathe and this lathe is one of the things I'll be using to turn and make blanks as raw materials for other hobbyists to, to use. Number four is it's economically logical, meaning I think the cost to provide um, something that's completely water resistant, completely chemical resistant, good for marine applications, um, and comparable in some ways to epoxy. It's probably not as strong, but comparable. Um, we can start using this material as an alternative. Um, and then number five, I just wanna say that it adds hope for us as far as a society to be able to take our waste and use it for something um, and make it useful. And that's all. So that's the reasons why I decided to make a shredder. And let's start with how I started design, which is get the shredder box, get the motor, and figure out how far apart they need to go with the right belts and sheaves. So I'll take a picture of it, write a bunch of notes, and then I'll maybe get fancy and then change my mind and then maybe draw some rockets for fun. But this is how I start before I send this all to SketchUp. All right, so from the line that I'll sometimes do out for Procreate, I'll start to start with a simple box construction, um, something like two by fours back together, two platforms separated, uh, ah, separated by the elevation I'm looking for, which is 13 and three quarter inches. Um, I try to get fancy with pine waves here, but as the more I think about it, I'm like, this thing doesn't need to be that nice. So I just keep on making iterations until finally I end up with something like this. And in order to make it easier for myself to assemble, I add rabbits and that's probably the fanciest thing I have on this type of construction. And the rabbits are just to allow myself to build it alone using as little clamps as possible and just glue and screws. So, so I'll just try to quickly show you how I assembled this uh, frame together. So these three stretchers have rabbits in them as well as the legs have rabbits in them. They come together like that. And I'll use glue, glue and screws, screws going this way. And I'll do the same thing with another other side of the leg. Now, these six stretchers, I'll assemble them in through here. And then I'll simply attach this leg to this leg. And again, I just use glue and screw. This thing doesn't need to be that nice. And um, end result kind of shows. But it's a really simple box, and then my motor and my shredder box can go on top of each other. And I ended up actually adding a hinge plate so I can adjust this up and down if I need to. And that's what makes up this 
full assembly, which is the shredder box right here. The shredder box will have a sheave on it, the belt will come down, and it'll connect to this smaller sheave on my one horsepower three-phase motor. And then that will be powered by my variable frequency drive. You can see my bandsaw video if you want to see how I wired that thing up. And here I just wanted to give a little bit of um, some context, some dimensions, pause, and uh, screen capture. <laughs> So VFD from there, quick connect, from the quick connect, it goes to my motor and that motor goes to this belt, which spins this sharp thing. And that's basically it. Man, I almost forgot to show the results, but it does an alright job of shredding. I think I'll run it through against. I made these threaded barrel nuts, and you can see see the link in the bio how I make them and how I use them to make some outdoor furniture. Um, outdoor furniture is really where I see this type of stuff to be used, and it was recently strength tested because my neighbor hit my bench, and luckily it didn't damage the wood. It just pulled out these, this plastic and it's been fine. I've been using this bench for about six months. So I went through the whole hot and cold cycle here in California. And um, it's kind of, it's, it's interesting because only the plastic part broke and it helped keep the uh, wood from getting completely damaged. So I see a lot of opportunity in being, in this being like a a point of failure that you want it to use as a point of failure. Anyways, link will be in the description of this video. Please check it out and please like and subscribe if you have a chance. Thank you.